All right, welcome back. Rehashes as Oyo State Governor Sheyimakinde built a resettlement space for northern beggars. All right, the news in details. Here are updates from the newly built Akinyele Resettlement Center in Oyo State, where hundreds of beggars from the Shantes of Ibadan were evacuated to. All right, and then onto this one from the above with the pictures you can see so far, photos taken at the Akinyele Resettlement Center. Some health personnel provided by the Oyo State Government can be seen attending to the sick ones among the relocated beggars. Apart from the free accommodation, the Oyo State Government led by Governor Sheyi Makende also made a provision for their feeding all right and then on to these as at the time these photos were captured by or your affairs the beggars from different parts of the country were seen having their breakfast all right and then meanwhile at the akinyele resettlement center the state government provided a fully functional school recreational center and an hospital for these beggars some Arewa community leaders who visited the center on Saturday were impressed with the facilities on ground. For a long time, these beggars have been defacing the state capital and they had become a constant menace to motorists and residents of the state. From their resettlement, they will either be rehabilitated or sent back home. All right, my people, and then that has been it. Well, onto this, there's been a lot of reactions, though. Well, a lot of people have said it that well, hmm, or your state should expect trailer loads of destitutes from the north from now, having been having seen this latest effort by the government. And then this is another one. Well, and someone is saying that well, is this is better than distributing palliatives than never got to the masses my fear is that can this be sustained and then if it failed or your state and ibadan in particular would be negatively affected hmm ruga in the making well my people no majority of people have no reacted though onto this well with what i have seen so far hmm my brother there is fire on the mountain yes simply because what the governor of Oyo state is doing right now you should have a very great rethink because as this set of people are right now they are the northerners and then now this is another avenue that the fulani attacker would use to affect in fact to disrupt the you no know, this peace in uh or your state right now as i speak well i don't know i don't know what is going actually going on with the governor of Oyo state right now but one thing for sure that he needs to understand is that these so-called you know, northerners will be with all this thing that he is doing he will be able to attract more insecurity to the country so i think he has to you know be very careful and then be wise and uh, somebody needs to talk to him i think he should have a deputy or a pa and I, I don't understand what is actually going on but this thing that is going on right now majority of people have been of the opinion that this is an avenue for the or your state you no know, for your state itself to be attacked because definitely the so-called fulani from this they might pretend to be a beggar then the next thing they will enter into that settlement and then this one that you have started are you sure is something that you can finish okay and then that is another one all right and then meanwhile according to fatai la sisi onto this one he has said that governor back in the day is looking for a trouble for the people of Oyo state because like right now what he is doing is not is something that you no know, he needs to like you no know, contacted some set of advisor because what he has done so far is going to cause trouble in the land and uh, someone has said that this is how it started in Bono state whereby the people accommodated the so-called you no know, Boko Haram, and then look at what is happening right now. They now tend 
to overtake the land all right and then majority of things have actually been said and then as it is i think the governor of oyo state she making the right now needs to have i uh, think because what you are now starting hmm, i'm very sure you will not you will not be able to finish it simply because this set of you no know, imageries that you are you not know, bringing into you are settling a space for them a place for these people hmm. why well, i pity the people of or your state onto this one simply because hmm, by the time these people now get themselves involved that they were not like wow there is another london in you know, your state another space whereby you can you know do and undo enjoy yourself free food hmm. and then look at what is going on in your state insecurity ravaging everywhere yet the governor of your state is still accommodating northerners in his state hmm. that this is another problem the governor is causing and somebody has said it rightly before now that this is an advantage for the fulani s men to invade the town to to invade or your state because as it is right now hmm governor shey makinde has just exposed the people of or your state into the hands of criminals because definitely majority of these killer s men will now pretend to be a beggar then after some time they would like right now you have already given them a space where they can stay uh, because right now that you know, Sunday Bo has said that he is combing the old forest and then now you have been able to open a space where they can come and live hmm. and somebody has said that Governor Sheyuma Kinde you need to wake up but because you can't continue to be exposing these people to the ends of Fulanese alright and then according to what Gabriel Ajadi has said onto this one okay according to him he has said that well Governor Sheyuma Kinde needs someone to advise him he needs a good advisor because this thing that he is doing needs to stop before it is too late hmm this is another one all right well according to anonymously yes as well i think the oyo state government is getting something from this because i see no reason why he would you know create a space a place for these people and then you no know, to the extent of feeding them how long are you going to feed these people morning afternoon night and then what are you building them for that is another one that you are growing this set of people to become what that is another one hospital hmm for them okay water and everything school okay meaning you want to create another country on your own well majority of things are actually being said so far but majority of people have been like what is going on here well my people what more can we say me well let me have more take from you on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless